Good afternoon and welcome to Birkenhead Priory. I'm now standing on the front entrance, the front of the western range of the Birkenhead Priory site. Um, we just thought we'd show you little sections of it, um, seeing as you can't actually come and visit at the moment due to the lockdown. So um, yeah, I'm going to show you the western range today um, and the Great Hall, the Monk's Parlour and the Prior's Lodgings, which are all housed within the western range of the Birkenhead Priory site. So I'll take you in. It's a beautiful sunny day today. So I hope we're not blinded too much by the sun. That window that you can see there, that's an arms window. That's the original arms window. And they're all shaped in that way. Um, and people would have come there to ask the monks for help uh, or for warm clothing or for food, anything like that. The arms, was where, the arms window was where you came. Now the ground would have been a little bit lower than this now, which makes more sense of the windows. But we'll come through this side entrance here and you can see the Western Range in all its glory. The Western Range is the only part of the Priory in ruins. Um, we have intact buildings. It's an absolutely stunning site. We're so incredibly lucky to have it here in Birkenhead. So here we are. I'll find a spot out of the sun and try and move around for you. So as I say, the ground would have been a few feet lower than this. The stones that you can see on the ground there were found by Victorian restoration workers, stonemasons um, that came here in the uh, 19th century to uh, do some restoration. There's lots of stonemasons marks in the Western Range. Um, so the Western Range was the Great Hall. So if you were coming to stay um, as a visitor or if you were coming to use the ferry service, um, they operated the first ferry service from here from 11.50. Um, you would come and they would put you up for the night. They wouldn't charge you. Uh, the ferry service itself was free for the first 200 years. So um, you would come and you'd be put up for the night here on mats and they're allowed to sleep and be fed. It's just a beautiful, beautiful sight. I'll move around for you. That's the entrance to the cloisters. And that brown door you can see ahead of you is the chapter house. And um, we'll be doing a short film on that for you as well. And through the, uh, the entrance there, you can see the clock of St. Mary's Church and its steeple. And um, we'll also be telling you all about that another time. That's on the Birkenhead Priory site also. So where I'm standing now is actually the Monk's Parlour. So the end section of the Western Range was the Monk's Parlour and the Prior's Lodgings above. So I'll step back to give you a clearer, clearer view. Okay. So this is the monk's parlour. So as I say, there's the arms window that we just passed before where members of the public, people in need, would come and be helped and given help by the, uh, the monks here. Um, there's your squint window, so named because it's at an angle. Arrows cannot be shot through there. You're, you're more safe with a window of that design. And there's the, the window that the monks probably would have gathered at. Um, to look out, it probably would have been a view of the sea from their point, from the River Mersey, um, and then we'll move around. Now above the monk's parlour was the prior's lodging, lodgings, and there's his fireplace as you can see, and his beautiful window looking out to the sky with the blue sky today shining through it, which makes it look even more impressive. And that would have been his private entrance to the church as there would have been a very grand church um, on that side of the Priory site. So we're just doing short videos at the moment, each on a separate aspect of the Birkenhead Priory site, just so people don't miss out from not being able to visit at the moment. So I'll walk along. And show you our rather grand windows. It's like nature's stained glass, isn't it? So that's our Western Range at the Bergenhead Priory site. Hope you've enjoyed our short video today. Thank you.